Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video I'm talking about something pretty darn important, and that is N95 respirators. At least it was pretty darn important to a lot of people about a year ago when the pandemic started spreading across the planet. If you could get N95 respirators at all during the beginning of that, you know, you were paying probably $20 to $30 per mask, whereas before the pandemic you could get them for like a buck fifty-two dollars per mask. In this video I'm going to share with you a source where you can get cases of these right now for pre-pandemic prices. I just ordered 80 small masks and 80 uh, regular size masks and it was really, it felt really good to be able to get them for prices that I remember paying before the pandemic. And I had bought a lot of N95 masks before the pandemic. In fact, uh, I've made several videos, you know, several years before the pandemic uh, started, you know, holding boxes just like this, talking about the importance of having this stuff ahead of time and how, you know, if you had it, you know, you'd have it if there was ever a shortage. I got lots of like really angry, nasty, jealous comments uh, on the video about, you know, people saying, oh, you know, you're hoarding all those, you should give all those away. And I did give away, uh, uh, you know, a fair bit of them to, you know, friends and family and things. Uh, but, um, you know, there were a lot of people that were really angry and frustrated that they couldn't get uh, N95 respirators. And they, and they were right to be because the medical community was letting everyone know that if you could uh, have a real N95 respirator, it would be a barrier between other people's disease spit particles and your lungs. And, you know, years and years of medical experience has taught us that if somebody spits out diseased spit particles and you breathe them into your body, there's a reasonable chance that those diseased spit particles are going to take root in your body and the disease is going to spread throughout your body. I know that during the pandemic there were a lot of people, you know, I, I kind of like the sour grape people that were sort of like, uh, you know, well, there were a bunch that like stopped believing that viruses even existed and, you know, all this kind of stuff. But, um, you know, uh, there were a lot of people who just could not get proper respirators and, you know, the CDC at first was saying, well, you know, you don't even need them because they realized there were going to be shortages. So they, you know, said, you know, you don't even need to have a respirator because it's not airborne. Then they reversed that when clearly that was bad advice and they knew that there weren't respirators available for people, but they were like, well, you know, at least make your own little cloth ones. You know, the, the, the mesh of the cloth might be too open and a lot of the particles might go, just go right through. And clearly there were all gaps around the side and everything. So well, we saw the results of how effective those DIY homemade masks were, at least most of the ones that people were making. They were more about the fashion of the fabric <laughs> that was over people's faces uh, and less about the actual effectiveness of filtering things out. But I can tell you from personal experience I had real respirators the entire time and since COVID started there has not been a case of COVID or flu or cold or sniffles or anything in my house for the entire time and that's really unprecedented. I have a little boy, he plays with his friends. We don't go a cold and flu season without getting multiple tastes of whatever's going around that season. So these things really work, especially when they're done in conjunction with like washing your hands and other basic general hygiene kinds of things like sanitizing. So if you would like to not miss the boat for the next time, and that's what this video is about, COVID, we're getting to the end of it. That's why these things are available now. We're getting to the end of COVID, but there's gonna be a next time. Maybe COVID mutates, comes back as something worse. We got pretty lucky with the first pass on COVID. I mean, obviously there are millions of people who are dead and did not get lucky, but you know, the world in general, as pandemics go, it was pretty not that horrible compared to past pandemics. And again, millions of people died millions and millions of people were sickened, you know, uh, so you, you, I don't want to be callous about that, but you compare it to like the Black Death and bubonic plague and all these other diseases that have gone around the world. I mean, God forbid Ebola ever figures out a way of being airborne. And it might have actually, you know, uh, back in the 80s, there might have been an incident where it was starting to go airborne. There were so many things, this is the point here, there are so many things that could be a danger, could be a threat, it makes sense to get these things now when you can, because you know, COVID could mutate and come back, like I said, or there could be something completely new. Again, God forbid Ebola, please Ebola, never become airborne. Uh, you know, you have no idea what's coming down the road and it doesn't even have to be biological. We have wildfire season coming up. Unfortunately, that's a thing now. We have wildfire season every year. And in fact, the video that I did that got all the nasty comments was about uh, a shortage of these and about how useful they would be during a wildfire season because they filter out the smoke particles and if you're you don't even have to be in an area that's actively burning if you were just in an area that is downwind of a place that's burning just having days and days and weeks of breathing in smoke particles 
it's not good for you. It doesn't matter how tough you are. It doesn't matter how, how much testosterone is in, in your system. I know there's this whole thing during the pandemic. It's like, you know, I, I, I'm too tough to worry about a virus or, you know, viruses don't exist for, you know, people as virile as me. Um, but, you know, you breathe uh, biological agents into your your body, you breathe smoke into your body, you be, breathe radioactive particles into your body, it doesn't really matter how tough you are, you know, they're going to take their toll. And that's another thing, radiological events, you know, God forbid there was ever some kind of a radiological event where there's radio, uh, radioactive dust in the air, that could be from a nuclear fallout, or my God, I hope there's not ever like a nuclear exchange in our lifetime or ever. But if there was ever a situation like that, there are so many reasons why you might want to have these. So let's cut to the chase. Where can you get these? Down in the description below and here on the screen is a website where I purchased these. Now, I didn't do this video right away. I waited for these to come in because, you know, especially during the pandemic, there were lots of websites that were popping up. They were essentially just stealing people's money. They were offering to sell things and they just wouldn't go through with it. So um, I bought these. I made sure they actually shipped. I've uh, put in a second order all together. I've got 80 of the uh, small masks and 80 of the medium masks. And that's a good thing to think about. There's the 1860S, which is a small size, like my boy. He wears the 1860S. And then the just regular 1860 is for an adult size face. I uh, purchased 80 of both of those. And I wanted to make sure they actually got delivered so that I'm not directing you guys at a charlatan company that's just looking to steal your money. There was a back order on them because they're just starting to get back you know, on their feet and the wheels are starting to spin again. But if you would like to get uh, ahead of the next curve and get this stuff, there you go. And it's up to you. You know, I, I know there were so many people before the pandemic that were not prepared and, you know, were really desperate. They, you know, there were things that they felt that they wanted to get and they just couldn't get access to them. This is your opportunity right now to do that. Now, I know, you know, even, even pre-pandemic prices, this box is like 30 bucks, 30 bucks for 20 masks. Now, 30 bucks, that's not nothing. But rewind about a year ago. You know, when you, you know, we didn't know how bad COVID was going to be. As it turns out, you know, as pandemics go, it wasn't that horrifying. But we didn't know back then. There's going to be something else in the future, and you're not going to know. You're not going to know whether it's going to be the next COVID or the next bubonic plague. So get the thing early. Get it when, you know, you're not getting gouged on prices. I, again, I know 30 bucks for one box of 20. You know, 30 bucks, you know, I, I bought six boxes of these. That adds up. But it's nothing compared to, you know, the situation that you'd be in if you don't have them. Something really dangerous comes down the road and, you know, you'll be kicking yourself later. Take advantage of the opportunity now. That is what it's about to be a prepper. You know, you don't always know that you're going to use everything that you get. It's like insurance for a car. You know, if you live in a state where insurance, uh, car insurance is uh, discretionary and you either, you know, you don't have to drive with it, uh, you know, you got to ask yourself, you know, hopefully you never need it. Same with these. Hopefully I'm never going to need them. But if you do need it, it feels so much better to have prepared ahead of time and to have taken that small hit so you can avoid taking a big hit later. That's it. Make your decisions about next time. But if you don't buy them, don't come whining to me later talking about how I'm hoarding masks and how selfish I am and everything. You have an opportunity to be that person that is prepared. You can do it now or not do it now. Set your priorities. What's important? That's all I can say about it. I know I'm going on and on about this because I know the reaction people are going to have to this is just like, I made it through. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Think about tomorrow. Think about next week. Think about next year. Who knows? Get a little bit of preparation. It can make a huge difference. That's it. And thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.